Hello, this is Jimmy and you are watching the Elementary Info YouTube channel. If you are looking for a herpes cure, visit the website link in this video's description and in the first comment. Herpes and Brain Herpes simplex virus, HSV infection, can indeed affect the brain, particularly in cases of neonatal herpes or herpes encephalitis. Neonatal herpes. When a newborn is infected with HSV, the virus can spread to various organs, including the brain. This can lead to herpes encephalitis in infants, which is a serious condition characterized by inflammation of the brain. Neonatal herpes can have devastating effects on the central nervous system and can result in neurological problems, developmental delays, seizures, and even death if not promptly treated. Herpes. Encephalitis. Herpes encephalitis can also occur in adults, though it's less common than neonatal herpes. This condition typically arises from reactivation of the herpes simplex virus in the trigeminal ganglion, a nerve cluster in the face, and subsequent spread to the brain. Herpes encephalitis in adults presents with symptoms such as fever, headache, altered mental status, seizures, and focal neurological deficits. Prompt diagnosis and treatment with antiviral medications are crucial to prevent serious complications and improve outcomes. The herpes simplex virus has a particular affinity for neural tissues, which is why it can cause neurological complications when it infects the brain. While herpes encephalitis is relatively rare, it's essential to be aware of its symptoms and seek medical attention if there are any concerns about HSV infection affecting the brain. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment are key to minimizing the potential consequences of herpes-related neurological complications.